Today I'm going to show you how to use the modeling tools editor mode to permanently bake a displacement map onto a static mesh and turn it into a super high poly nanite asset. For this example I've made a model in Blender and I textured it with Quixel Mixer and so I'm going to take a look at that without the displacement applied and it looks all right there's uh, some ridges and some depth defined by the normal map so we're seeing that in terms of the lighting uh, but if I do look up close uh, pan the right way with the camera I can see that the ridges that appear to have depth from a distance uh, don't actually have any depth they're just drawn on so we need to add some displacement to this rock and luckily I can do that right here in the Unreal Engine 5 editor and to do that I need to enable a plugin called the modeling tools editor mode so I'm going to go to edit and plugins and search for the modeling tools editor mode and I'm going to check enabled I'll restart the editor and I'm back in the editor and now I can access the modeling editing mode by selecting this button here on the toolbar or with the hotkey shift 7 so I'm going to select my boulder here and activate model editing mode and now I have these tools here on the left hand side and today I'm just going to focus on the displace tool under the deform category and I'm going to select displace and it's going to offer me a Perlin noise displacement by default uh, and maybe that's the look you're going for uh, but for me I want to use a texture map so I'm going to go up here to the options under displacement type I'm going to select a texture map and even further down here in the options I can select a displacement map I want to use and I'm going to pick the rock displacement map and right away we can see this is looking uh, improved uh, if I increase the displacement intensity here maybe to say 20 uh, this is looking not too bad but I am seeing a little bit of uh, artifacting here when I zoom in I can see there's some uh, stretching going on here some artifacting uh, but I can improve this and what I'm going to do is change the number of subdivisions and the number of subdivisions is basically the number of times that the mesh is going to be subdivided before it's uh, the displacement is applied uh, so previously we would rely on tessellation to do this subdivision on the fly and give you a dense enough mesh to apply these displacement details but now we're going to bake this permanently into the mesh and it's going to be a, a nanite mesh in the end so I'm not really worried about the polygon count so I'm going to increase the number of subdivisions to as high as I can I'll type in 10 and it lets me know that the desired number of subdivisions 10 exceeds the maximum number 6 for a mesh of this number of triangles uh, okay so 6 is great though if we look now we can see pretty well all of that artifacting is gone and there's still a little bit of texture stretching happening but it looks a lot better than it was with four subdivisions uh, okay so I'm happy with this and I'm going to commit this to the mesh so when I press accept on this displace tool uh, the mesh that we started with is going to be overwritten by this new mesh with all these subdivisions and this extra poly count uh, so I'll just hover over this rock static mesh that we started with and we can see that it has a triangle count of 610 now I'll accept the displacement tool and we will check it out after the fact okay so that's finished and I'm gonna hover over this mesh now and we're up to two and a half million triangles pretty much so normally uh, that would be a disaster for a game asset but since we're using nanite we don't have to worry about that poly count and so I can just right click this select nanite and select enable and we'll wait for that to build and now we have our 
two and a half million poly count uh, boulder as a nanite asset. And so uh, I'll take a look around here in real time and it looks pretty good. The character can only get so close to the mesh because of the collision. So you really don't have to worry about them getting too close and noticing that artifacting. Uh, yes, you can pan the camera closer before the spring arm will collapse. Um, but, you know, I'm not too worried about a little glimpse of some artifacting here and there. So I think that's uh, pretty perfect. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and check out one more thing here. Uh, since this has been converted to a nanite asset, we can now make as many instances of that as you want. And there's basically no rendering cost in the scene. So, uh, you know, what I can do, for example, is I can press Control W and make another one and uh, select both, press Control W and drag these, uh, let's say, over here. And, uh, you know, I can make as many of these as I want and it's not going to impact my, my frame rate, even though they technically have a poly count of two and a half million polygons each. All right, and one more thing I'm going to do is um, show you that you can take a nanite asset like this and I can go to the foliage editing mode and I can drop that rock into the foliage uh, uh, actor area and let's say change the scale to uh, 0.1, uh, between 0.1 and 0.2 and I'll change the density to something like 5,000 and uh, now I can paint on a bunch of these. Um, let's see here, I've made uh, 3,880 of them here so far and uh, if I had more landscape I could make some more. Let's just take the landscape here and We'll copy that, it copies it with the, uh, with all of the foliage intact. Um, what I really want is a new blank plane. Okay, and I'll make these uh, even smaller. I'm gonna go to uh, let's say 0.05 to 0.1 and we'll paint a bunch on this plane here. All right, now I have 41,400 instances of this rock in the scene and uh, certainly if I press play here, uh, they have no collision. But uh, I can type stat FPS and I can see here that my FPS is uh, 80, 90, uh, certainly no problem at all. Pretty well no impact. And each and every one of these rocks instances uh, has the full detail of the two and a half million poly instance, even, even all these tiny ones down here. Right, so that's pretty much it for displacement and I'll see you in the next video.